starting off with subclasses, it's a big deal. We've got a new Bard subclass, the College of Dance. Yes, and the College of Dance, this is a subclass we've wanted to introduce for a long time. A, just because it's fun to have the dancing Bard, but also this leans into an element that the Bard story text touches on in the New Player's Handbook, and that is the Bard's magic, and even the magic that taps into the words of creation, those words are not necessarily verbal. Uh, that communication could be by sign, it can be by dance. There are many ways that communication is accomplished in our world, and so we wanted that to be reflected in the Bard as well. And so the College of Dance is all about not only this Bard dancing, but also maybe even sometimes succeeding at getting their friends to dance with them. And uh, that that's particularly true in one of their later features. But starting right away in this new subclass, we have uh, a feature called Dazzling Footwork. And this feature is really a package of, of multiple features that makes you your performances better if they involve dancing. Uh, it gives you an unarmored armor class because we want a dancing bard yeah. to be able to, uh, if they want to be dressed like a dancer, but still have a, a decent AC. Uh, we've also made it so that this bard, whenever they use a bonus action to confer bardic inspiration, can also make an unarmed strike. And, and remember, unarmed strikes uh, aren't necessarily punches. They could be kicks yeah. or whatever else a dancer would be doing as they are, are leaping across the battlefield. There are options within having an unarmed strike now that are more than just doing damage. You can push people around. You can Absolutely. The new unarmed strike is is a package that includes three options. Deal damage, grapple, or shove. This actually then combos with some of their later abilities, uh, which I'll get into soon. Also, their unarmed strike deals more damage than a typical unarmed strike, because uh, the uh, typical unarmed strike, unless you're a monk or some other character who has an enhanced unarmed strike, typically on a hit just deals one damage plus your strength modifier. Not true for the College of Dance Bard, uh, who, if you decide to deal damage with your unarmed strike, you deal bludgeoning damage equal to a roll of your bardic inspiration die. Oh, wow. Plus your dexterity modifier. And this roll of your bardic inspiration die does not expend your bardic inspiration. Yeah. yeah. So now your this bard gets to use their bardic inspiration die also as a damage die for the damage that they're dealing with their very vigorous dancing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, then at level six, this is when uh, you uh, become very capable at trying to get your friends in on the in on the dance, and maybe you can have your whole party uh, do a uh, exciting flash mob uh, <laughs> inside battle. Uh, this ability is uh, the one where whenever an enemy uh, ends its turn within five feet of you, you can take a reaction, expend a use of your bardic inspiration to move up to half your speed, and then an ally of yours uh, can also try to do the same thing. None of this movement provokes opportunity attacks. And remember, the earlier level feature is yeah. whenever you expend bardic inspiration, whether as a part of a bonus action, action, or reaction, you can also make an unarmed strike. So that means someone comes up close to you, you use this ability, you're not only getting to move without provoking opportunity attacks, but you also get a free unarmed strike uh, as part of the bargain. Uh, this is very energetic dancing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, and then this is where we really, uh, at the same level, start unlocking the ability to really help your friends get in on the action is the new uh, tandem footwork feature. Whenever you roll initiative, you can expend one use of your bardic inspiration uh, and roll it and then you and your allies get to add that as a bonus to your initiative. So this 
this allows your group to leap into action potentially far sooner than they normally would in a battle. Uh, finally, uh, the subclass uh, with their, their level 14 feature, uh, they get the evasion ability that rogues have as well as monks, uh, but they can share it. The College of Dance Bard, because dancing is often about dancing with someone else, uh, if if you can imagine the, the sort of situation we often had in mind with this is the the enemy spellcaster casts fireball and you and your buddy are within the blast as long as you're near each other you're not only going to benefit from your evasion ability but you can confer it to the friend next to you as well that's amazing so this this subclass has high mobility speed speed uh, and also some really great interaction uh, with their party mates. Yeah. When you pre-order the digital physical bundle, you also get an exclusive digital gold dragon mini for our 3D virtual tabletop. The Dragons of D&D Digital Art Book, 15 dice sets, 34 frames, and 15 backdrops. And if you pre-order the digital 2024 Player's Handbook on D&D Beyond, you get exclusive bonuses. 12 sets of digital dice representing each class, 10 new frames, and 5 new backdrops. And all of those Player's Handbook bonuses are available right now on D&D Beyond. You can find the links to all of that in this video description. Thank you so much for watching. We have a ton of video content coming out about the new Player's Handbook and all the new core rulebooks, the new Monster Manual, the new Dungeon Master's Guide. So be sure to check out all of that content. And thank you for watching.